when you go into a school, when you work with a school, what are you trying to identify and, and point out and change? Um, I'm trying to identify white supremacy at play because teachers, so first of all, our, our teaching force is a white teaching force, but yes. the, those white teachers will tell you that they are teachers. They're not white. Yes. I'm just a teacher. That's the first mistake um, is because <laughs> This is a system of white supremacy, this racial hierarchy, you know, mm -hmm. and if you want to claim that you're not of the privileged class, you want to claim that you're not on the top of the food chain, and then you're standing typically before students of color who mm -hmm. know that you're on top of the food chain, but you're not trying to claim it. So that's disingenuous. I don't trust you. I don't believe you. You're full of shit. I'm not going to listen to whatever else you have to say. I don't, I, I, I don't trust that you have my best interests at heart because as a person of color, as a young person, for you to discount and dismiss that there's a racial hierarchy that I have to adhere to, you're not protecting me, right? If I walk around in life thinking that I have the same protections as a white person has, I'm not safe. Mm -hmm. So as a, a high school student or somebody who understands that, I'm already on some, I'm already on mm -hmm. some, I don't trust you, you're not my, you're not, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. so a lot of the the quote unquote defiance in our classroom is resistance to the white supremacist agenda. And so what I'm trying to get these teachers to see is A, you are white, that matters. Let's talk about that. Let's sit with that. Let's sit with your discomfort of being identified as white and for me calling you out for your skin color. You have a culture. You think it's American culture. Mm. You think it's the norm. And that's what white supremacist culture is. And white supremacist mm. culture is normalized and is indistinguishable from American culture. So you think this is just the way it is, but really it's white supremacist culture. And by definition, white supremacist culture is inherently toxic to people of color mm. specifically black people and indigenous people so as you're in your schools just doing your normal everyday practices that you think are benign they're actually toxic to black and brown kids and that is why we don't see black and brown excellence in our schools is because it's perpetuated and and saturated in white supremacy i'll give you some examples yes yes please i'm already getting heated um, I, I love it i love it i'm gonna take a break because i'm also focusing on self-care right i'm just like yes. I'm not gonna <laughs> Excuse me.